Hello and welcome back to Storytime Gamer. We're going to play an old school favorite game of mine. I didn't even know this was coming out for the PlayStation. Blade Runner. I remember when this came out and it was so cool. Revolutionary at the time. Westwood Studios produced it. And, you know, they've gone away since then, been eaten up by, like, EA and Blizzard and all that other stuff. And I'm just so excited that this came back. And I didn't even know it was coming back until the day before it came out. So I've been waiting uh, until now to pick it up, play it. Don't know if I'll do a whole series on it, but I just wanted to really share on this awesome, awesome, awesome game. So the idea is... Oh, God. Let's put it on easy. Uh, um, if you're not familiar with the movie, the original movie with Harrison Ford, or read the book, do androids dream of electric sheep, um, anything like that, then you're kind of at a loss. But at the same time, this is cyberpunk. The best definition of where the image of cyberpunk came from was from this movie. Well, the original movie, and this is, we're not following anything that happens in that story per se, but kind of ta in tangent to what's happening. We're a Blade Runner, we go after rogue uh, androids, and we have to retire them. So we're, I forget exactly how this game is story-wise, so we're going to jump in. But the crazy thing is that things happen in real time, and uh, we have to find and do things in that time, so if we don't, if we waste too much time trying to go after somebody, then they're gone, that's it. And apparently they've up all the original animated videos and everything else, so I I'm excited. I don't know why there's a subtitle for the text on the screen, but I'll be like, whatever, dude. I would read it, but I feel like the aesthetic is for you, the viewer, to read it. All right, Los Angeles, November 2019. Man, this was just a few years ago. I didn't know that. My sweet. I cleaned out the tiger cage and sorted all the meal bins. So, if it's all right, it's my turn to fix dinner. D uh, haven't you forgotten something, little one? Just one little thing. Mr. Runcer, please. It's been a very long day. I don't want to. Now, Lucy, I thought we'd settled this last week. Don't let's forget who pays your salary. We're closed. Come back tomorrow. Wait, I haven't finished with you. I told you, we're closed. We're not here to buy, little man. We've come to sell. You can't possibly have anything to interest me. These are extremely rare animals of the highest quality. What a coincidence. So am I. That is the price for humility. 
Oh, oh, please don't. And what else might be interest you in today, sir? Perhaps some virtue? Uh, not my animals, please. I'm begging you. <laughs> But what of honor, little man? At what price? Honor. Oh, my God, no! That tiger is the rarest specimen ever seen. Tiger, tiger, burning bright. The forest of the night. PR 61661 reports to precinct headquarters. Code 3, repeat code 3. I was just finishing up my 12 out on patrol when I got the call. Welcome relief, considering that the most action I'd seen all night was a schizoid grandmother doing the shimmy in her underwear in the second sector. So yeah, Ridley Scott put together this movie, visionary, just amazing at the time. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And of course, it set the precedent for what science fiction could, should be, as well as what cyberpunk should, could be. And this is uh, actually 25 years old now, so that's probably why this got released. 25th anniversary. Last time I had a three was when some hooker vomited Thunderbird on Bryant's desk, and yours truly led the cleanup crew. Year and a half on the job, it was still the dirtiest work I'd seen. Where's Captain Bryant? Took a sick day. Got himself a heinous case of domaine poisoning. He asked me personally to run the unit in his absence. Guzo was one of the old-time guys who took their knocks in the streets. He had a friendly way about him, but you didn't want to turn your back on him if you were less than a friend. Hope you've been enjoying your leisure time, kid, because it's time to take that thumb out of your ass. Hallelujah. Don't get too excited. The other Blade Runners are all jammed up. Holden sucking dinner through a straw. Gaff's working the Tyrell break-in, and Steele's working special undercover. Looks like you got this one by default. You really know how to make a girl feel wanted. Animal murder done at Runciter Zoological. Probably just be a schizoid glitz, but we got the call. Old man Runciter lost something like a billion chinions worth. Ten to one, this ain't a job for rep detect. You got something better to do? Perfect your French cooking, maybe? Slimming tonight, Slim. I thought you were on special assignment. Wasn't too damn special after I had the suckers out. What happened? A couple of fours were masquerading as fibroplast insulators down at Kaiser. I dressed up like a nurse. They never had a chance. I'll bet. You put them on the machine? Hell no. There's a beautiful little thing in here called the magic, and it ain't ever been wrong. You develop it, you got a brilliant career ahead of you. I'm working on it. What's Guza got you doing tonight? A.M. at Runsitters. Animal murder. Oh, those skin jobs got no respect for anything that truly lives and breathes. And that goddamn Eldon Tyrell ought to be zipped into a body bag and flushed into deep space. Get rid of him, we'd be out of a job. <laughs> I think we're all overdue for a little off-world paid vacation. You can stop staring at my ass now. You got eyes in the back of your head? All you gotta do is ask, Slim. Animal sales was a profitable and prestigious business since most real animals had died out after the Terran War. There were plenty of electric ones, though, powered by rechargeable batteries. No self-respecting human would own one of those frauds. All right, so we're in control of, like, a mouse, and I guess... Oh, nope, put that up. Which one's click? How do I click over here? Nope, put that up. Okay, this is very irregular. Oh. Okay, sorry. So I have to highlight them in green in order to interact with what do you them. Know? About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. The shop's been thrashed. You ought to see this tiger cup they got in there. It's a goddamn tragedy. How's old man Runciter holding up? State of shock. He's been moaning and complaining about his world caving in. You'd feel the same way if they were your animals. How many perps? At least two. Bloody footprints all over the scene. Must be a delightful sight. Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. So yeah, if you don't click on certain things, you don't get uh, those details and you can easily miss something. So 
so it's always important to just kind of hover around. Scratches and paint flecks, and I knew what they meant. Unless the city had bought a jet black fire truck, somebody had a big fat traffic ticket coming. I'm sorry, what I was saying is that you kind of need to make sure you hover around everything. Talk to people. Okay, no, no, no. I'm not ready to get out of here. I already checked for a crowbar, some kind of tool. No luck, but it looks like we've got some latents. Make sure the lab boys run them through the mainframe, human and rep. Huh. Let's see. I th thought I saw that turn green. Whoop. No, maybe it's just a play on my eyes. See that? I think that'll make me go back in my patrol card. I'm not ready to do that yet. Just going to double click on them. I already told, said to canvas the area. Oh, canvas yeah. the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. Yeah, these are like all pre-rendered. I've gotten all I can from that. Yeah, let's go inside. All the pre-rendered assets. And then you have... Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. So we can talk to him. Maybe we should investigate first? Let's see. Uh -huh. Security camera. It'd be a banner day if it recorded anything before it was shot out. All my animals. Yep, all your animals. Look at that would exit this out if I point it that way. Alright, I guess I need to talk to him first. Wait. Okay. About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. Okay. McCoy, LPD. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Obviously? What'd they look like? Big and scary and absolutely malevolent. Can you think of anything they might have been after? First, I thought they wanted money, but I don't keep any in the shop. Then I thought they wanted to steal my animals, but they started executing them. Could they have been replicants? Who else would be capable of such barbaric acts? No, nope, don't go away. I'm still talking to you, dude. You ever do any business with the replicant manufacturers, Tyrell Corporation? I resent that accusation. Just wondering. Officer. Last May, I personally sold Governor Kolvig an exquisite Bercheron coat. I have been a guest at his house on three separate occasions. Ooh. Do I look like I need to carry artificial product? My precious one. She was my baby. Tell me about this Lucy. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for about a month. She's about 14 years old, with pink hair. Oh. A very attractive young thing. Ew, sicko. How'd you find her? She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very reputable wholesaler. You treat her well? As well as any young tot should be treated. She got a desk? Or someplace where she worked? She used to eat over there. I'm ruined. Totally ruined. See if you can dig up that reference from Ogilvy's. Yes, it's somewhere here. Just a moment. That's right. Here you are. If there's anything else I can ask him. Stick around. I may not be finished with you. I... Precious one. Alright, so she we can go back baby. here now. I kind of wish they updated the controls where you could control him, but I guess maybe it's a programming issue. Alright. I can definitely tell that that's not pre rendered. Candy bar. Yuck. Meh. With you. Hmm. A toy dog. 
Well, isn't that cute? Scuff marks? Howie Lee's in Chinatown. No. I'd eaten there myself. If there's anything else here. Uh no, that's part of it. Can I not go back there? Alright, so I think we need to take this evidence and uh go to these locations and talk to some people and see if there's anything we can figure out. Well, isn't that cute? Okay, we did already look at that. So yeah, you have to do some detective work. Click point and click, point and click. Is there anything else I can observe here? I don't think so. Alright, let's get out of here. We've got some leads. Let's go be detectives! I'm ruined! We should get totally ruined! Okay, okay, I was like, I thought there was a way to run. It you didn't add up. Animal murders, the lack of any theft, the small animals alone were worth a good chunk of change on the street. It seemed more like an act of vengeance. Run! So yeah, these are all pre-rendered, and then you have, like, I guess, them kind of rendered. Okay, let's see. Run sitters, McCoys. That's my apartment. We should go to Chinatown. I wonder what's that? Okay. Let's go here first. No need to go to the police department right now again, or my apartment. Real sushi was a luxury reserved only for the elite, since most sea life had become radioactive after the Third Terran War. The rest of us had to eat new sushi, soya mixed with off-world lichen. Nummy! McCoy, LPD. I want to ask you a couple of questions. Sorry, my man. I just don't got the time. Okay, Gordo. Talk to our chef over here. Beautiful night, isn't it? When business thriving, night always beautiful. Hey, big guy. Busy. No time for talk. McCoy, it has been us through now. You want something, you talk to me. Sorry, Howie. Got to mix more out back. Hmm. This is from your place, isn't it? Could be. Chops that come from Yoshi's restaurant supply. How long has that chef worked for you? Zubin? Just a month. Superior chef. Makes all kinds of new suits. What's real fresh tonight? Special shipment of Toro just arrived. I fix you right up. No one else. Clean as a whistle. You're a prince, Howie. That was very nice of him. Let's go follow that guy. Let's go question him. Run! <laughs> you know, it's funny. There is a line this guy says. For some reason, it's stuck with me forever. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's like, I know what I know and what I don't know. I don't know her. Watch. It's going to be that line. For some reason, that is stuck with me for How he says you're a master chef. Do not come back here! Air bad! This'll only take a minute. I'm looking for a girl, about 14 years old with pink hair. You seen her? I don't know her! Whoa! Okay, that was quick. Maybe they changed up the line a little. Alright, we've got our gun out. A big guy run past here? Hey, maybe spare some chinion? Thanks. The big man, he kind of limping. That away. All right. Thanks, dude. Gotta be cautious, I guess. We're up them stairs. Uh oh. Locked. <sighs> really? Oh, I wonder if I missed them because I decided to wait and kind of 
talk to that one dude. Oh, man. Let me put my gun up, just... What did I find? What was that? About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. Okay. Huh. Well. Okay. I guess we lost him for now. Hmm. Well, maybe that's later that that line that's haunted me forever comes from... Let's ask him again. See you later, Howie. Oh. Yeah. Never mind about your employee going crazy and trying to kill me. Maybe there's something we get at the police station. Or I've just totally failed at this game already. <laughs> Oh, man, okay. Let's see if there's anything we can gather at the police station about that dude. Or maybe there's footage at the, uh... From the, uh, Runciters that's already in the logs or something. I don't know. Let's see. Mainframe Laboratory. Roof. Mainframe and Shooting Range Laboratory. Ground Floor. Lockup. Mainframe and shooting range. Let's go there. Violent street crime in the city rose again last year by a whopping 26%, according to. Huh. Okay, I wish that subtitle would go away. I guess I don't have anything to put in here. Uh. Uploading personal clue database. Okay. Downloading mainframe clue database. Definitely a, a game for its time clue where database transfer complete. You had to just kind of figure out stuff because uh yeah, no hand holding in this. Alright, is there Oh oh I surely thought we'd have something on the screen. Never mind. Okay, let's get out of here. So yeah. <laughs> Don't be surprised if I'm like, I need to find a guide. To figure out how to make this work. Lucky Strikes, Crystal's brand. I knew she was spending a lot of time in the training maze these days, even though she'd already gotten close to a perfect score. Old copies of case files, notices, and memos. The usual station junk. What's over here? I think that's the, tr the shooting range. Well, if it ain't Ray McCoy, Bryant finally letting you play with the big boys. My clearance come through? You bet. You bring your piece. Don't leave home without it. Steele's been running the maze every other day for two weeks, and the targets are getting a little roughed up. I thought Guza was going to requisition some new ones. I ain't seen him down here in a month. Guess he's been busy. Poor guy. I bet he gets all tuckered out from pushing those papers around. And don't sell him short, McCoy. <laughs> Guza could be one tough hombre. <laughs> I remember when we worked mice together. He poured acetone on two pimps that gave us some lip <laughs> and lit a match. Ah, I'll tell ya, it looked like the goddamn 4th of July out there. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, you keeping busy, pal? Nah, the place has been pretty quiet the last couple of days. Okay, then. Can I go to this training range? Hit the lock, Jack. I guess there ain't no harm in it. Target and shoot all threats. Alright, let's get Do some... Do not shoot innocents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Confirm target as hostile before shooting. Alright, let's see how this works. <laughs> Which way we go?
wonder where, where are the baddies? Probably not a good idea to run a lot in here, but we're, we're going to figure it out. Are there no bad guys? Have they all been shot up? Nope, okay. That was a waste. Jeez. Let's get out of here. It's probably where I need to go. Alright, come on. Let's go to the roof. And it's such a quick load. Um, remember, it used to take a while to get between places because, you know, it would, it would load. It would have to... This is all CD. Oh, wow. Okay, where's my apartment? There it is. Okay, that's what happened. I was freaking out. I thought I wasn't going to get to shoot him in time and die already. I haven't saved. Rumor has it you've been earning your stripes, McCoy. Working on it. Keep it up. You just might have a future in this business. I understand it's got a hell of a retirement plan. You VK the mark before retirement? Didn't have to. That's why they call it the magic. I'm starting to understand. You ever retire a human, your career is over. Remember that. I checked with you and air. Looks your rep swung that moon bus massacre last month. Huh. They ever find the moon bus? Disappeared into thin air. Brian thinks it crashed out in the Kipple. How many reps are we talking about? Enough. They're Nexus Sixes. So don't take too much slack. Gotcha. Right, I'm just gonna go to my apartment now. Can I talk to him more? No, I guess we can't. I lived with the best gal I'd ever seen. She was two now and full of life and love. She yeah. cost me about a year's salary, but she was worth it. It was good to have someone warm nearby after completing a dirty job. And the retirement swag from this case would go toward getting her a partner. No. So this is the Esper, but I don't have any photos to, I guess, enhance and look at. So that's why I can't work that just yet. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Yay. Okay, we've met her dog. Let's, uh, let's go back to the station or something. Your floor number, please. Apartments. Roof. Ground floor. What's down there? Let's just check. You never know. There's nothing to really do here. Okay. Your floor number, please. Roof. To the roof! To the roof! So what's fun little uh, trend in gaming, especially with um, indie developers, is trying to make things look retro. <clears throat> and I think it's funny how we have a game here that is very retro, and there's so many games trying to mimic this now. Which I like. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess go back here. Talk to Howie. If nothing comes from Howie, then I guess I need to go to the prison. I mean, not prison, the station. And if not there, I'll go back to Runsitters, I guess. Ugh. See you later, Howie. Nope. Go to the station. It makes kind of sense.
Because I thought I'd have those other locations unlocked, but maybe we need to talk about this guy first. Laboratory. Let's see what's in the laboratory. Got anything new for me, Dino? I was wondering when you'd show your mug around here, McCoy. We got the animal corpses from Runciter's, but there wasn't a whole lot to work with. Bone marrow? About 50% were real, the rest were fakes. Oh. So, Runciter was ripping his customers off. State of the art fakes. Miles beyond the crap you see on Animoid Row. The kind that comes from legit manufacturers? Yeah, they're the ones that usually produce the quality. What about the wounds? Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife, like the perp was really pissed off at something. Butcher knife? Could be, but who cuts meat anymore? Nice bunch of reps I'm tailing. Hope you're not pulling a meat cleaver out of my back next week. Well, we got the one guy with the meat cleaver. Anything else? That black paint you found on the fire hydrant? It's from a ground car. Huh. You sure? The angle of impact was almost head on. And there ain't too many spinning drivers clutzy enough to smack a street level hydrant in VTOL mode. I heard your wife got her license back. <laughs> You're a real funny guy, McCoy. Anything else? Zip man, try me later. Okay, so. There's that. Lock up. Let's see if there's anything in lock up. Who dis? Are they letting me out? I'm not the one who makes that decision. I suppose it's my turn to bear the cross for the cause. Hmm. What do you know? Zero that would interest you, detective. Okay. Alright, well we tried. Huzzah! Definitely a slower paced game, but you know, you think, you process, you're a detective. When a mystery or detective game kind of gives you everything at once, it's like meh. Which, I really like the new Sherlock Holmes games. I haven't played the the prequel one yet, but I really like the last two, especially the the Devil's Daughter. That was a really good one. All right, come Stick here. around. I may not be finished with you. Oh, okay. I guess I can't talk to him anymore. Um, mm -hmm. well, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Let's see if he knows anything. Find anything else out here? This woman says she saw that kid who worked for Runciter hanging around with a big fat guy last week. Uh huh. Find anything else out here? This guy lives across the street. Says he heard a crash late last night. Looked out his window and saw a black sedan speeding away from the scene. Mm hmm. Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. Well, that's what he's been doing. Come on. Hold on. Find anything else out here? Zilcho. Row actions inside. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. <laughs> I never did appreciate art. Okay. Alright, thanks for watching Storytime Gamer. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks!